Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a continuation of a previous video. Kindly check on the description for the link to that video. Today my main focus will be modeling, modeling card modeling in the ANSYS to model the 3D geometry. In ANSYS, the geometry is usually defined by three aspects. The first step aspect, we can either design a geometry in space cream we can or design the geometry in a design modeler or you can import a geometry which is already designed using another card software in the car in, in the upcoming videos i will illustrate all of this for you to be able to understand how you can be able to maneuver and see the advantages and the disadvantages of, a, of one over the other therefore space cream is like a, a card software which you can be able to model assemblies a little bit complex geometries for the ANSYS design modeler is for the simpler card modeling therefore you don't need uh, an external card software if you understand how to use the first two unless you are modeling a very complex design whereby you need to to just import when you start for example when you start rigid dynamics Digit dynamics will be importing a complex designs and analyze the forces which go, which which get uh, which which are exhibited by the motion. Okay, therefore, on this geometry, on the geometry, uh, I, I want to go deeper because my main focus is the analysis, the actual simulation. I will spend a lot of time in analysis, but for the CAD modeling. I, it will be just a, a basic I'll, do, I'll just give you basic basic explanation to get you started therefore for you to start a geometry just right click on the geometry and select the design modeler yeah as you wait for the modular to load we're going to design this this is a cone shaped that's what we are going to model it is already starting yeah Kindly spend, kindly spend your time, do some research on how you can be able to model because my main interest is not modeling, my main interest is actual simulation in ANSYS but I will give you a, a, just a basic modeling tips just to get you started okay, I will be, sorry I will be a little bit fast but not fast, not fast enough for you not to understand okay, we start we said this one looks like a, a cone therefore we need a cone we can be able to define a cone here you and before you start designing anything always check the units it is an inch units inch okay then they like isometric i like starting on isometric okay go to create primitive a uh, cone you can see this yellow line it is the cone axis which is supposed to be parallel to z axis okay therefore my base plane is x y and this this axis is parallel to z axis therefore make sure that your base plane is x y here base plane x y okay and we need origin to be zero 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 that's my origin and z axis to be remember the total height is one Total height is 160 because the mid nozzle is uh, is on 80. Therefore, we need total height of 80 times 2, which is uh, we need uh, 160 here. Okay. Then base radius, top radius. Let me check the dimensions. Base this is the base and top. We need to define base here. Base. Uh, 69.5 top is a uh, 41.75 let me confirm yeah then you select cone generate when it zooms like this always use this one this icon zoom to fit like that that's, a, that's our cone but you can see this is a solid and we need a hollow cone therefore you go back to cone here Select the as thin surface, select yes. Inner thickness is a this is thickness here. Define the thickness value of uh, 
0 0.5 cone generate it becomes hollow with a thickness of 0 0.5 make it a habit of renaming okay uh, your designs then we need now to model the fledge this fledge which is at the middle of the cone therefore one thing we need is a plane we need a plane here at the middle therefore let click let click cone I insert new plane okay and you want to insert the plane relative relative to x y plane but we want to offset it from z axis therefore we okay okay we need uh, to here yeah, transform we transform z axis value of 80 select generate then zoom out as you can see now the axis is uh, the plane is at the middle of the cone okay it goes too fast let me delete it and repeat again for you to understand what i have done just select let click on the cone you insert a new plane okay and then you choose the transform here the transform is going to to transform from x y plane which is our base plane here you want to transform by transform the plane along z axis by amount of eight inches there yeah. select generate and you can rename this as a mid plane that okay then we need uh to design a circle on this plane therefore select the plane you go to you go to sketching here you select this sketch okay sketch icon here then select circle look for circle circle like that then i like going top go top hover on the screen until this icon this uh, snap icon is indicated through your circle and we need to defend the diameter diameter is uh, 1391 therefore go to dimensions diameter define this here one no no no, no. one three point five one okay generate yeah one three one yeah generate then we need to extrude go back to modeling take our sketch create extrude we want to extrude our fridge on both direction therefore we need here we need to extrude symmetric and we need 0 0.25 is our depth our depth okay we don't add material but use frozen generate what happens when you use a frozen these two it forms two bodies our cone body and our extrude body but if you add if you change here from frozen to add material what happens is uh, it becomes just one body okay it combined combined everything let's not combine for now let's go back to add frozen generate now we need to, this inner body we don't need it therefore we separate this body we slice the body and remove the inner section how do you go about it you go to create slice slice you slice by surface this you select this surface it will cut the inner body using this surface if you now generate you form three bodies the cone body the inner body and the fridge body we need the inner body just suppress that body will be remaining with the two bodies the fledge body and the code body yeah cone body and fledge body then last three combine them by boolean boolean here we want to unite this body to this body select the bodies we want to unite then boolean generate it becomes one body so you can see here it has become just one body 
it it is suppresses one body but the boolean but the boolean we need lastly separate the lower nozzle from mid nozzle how do you separate you want to cut you want to cut using this mid plane so that we can have a bottom section and a top section go for go to create slice ah oops so for that you need size here on to slice what or don't slice by surface in this time we want to slice by plane okay this plane here apply all bodies all bodies here slice generate then you can hide this surface here hide sketch you can see now you have two bodies that's the mid nozzle and a lower nozzle therefore i like renaming mid nozzle and rename lower nozzle and you are done on the first section here that is uh, modeling this now next video we are going to model this bolt and nut kindly don't miss that video and please subscribe to my channel share the video like the video it motivates me see you on the next video bye